Hello, I'm Janae Tipsharani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news unofficial counts by the media indicate Donald Trump has enough delegates to clinch the Republican nomination for the US presidential election. While Trump has had the nomination locked down for weeks, he's now received enough support by getting fence-sitting delegates on his side. He won't formally accept the party's nomination until delegates vote in July. The news comes after President Barack Obama said foreign leaders were rattled by Trump for good reason. Staying in the US, the Fed is continuing to lay the groundwork for a rate rise in the next two months. Fed Governor Jerome Powell has said the economy will probably be ready for a hike fairly soon as it's on solid footing. Yet he adds the uncertainty surrounding Britain's June 23 referendum on whether to leave the EU will be an argument in favour of the Fed exercising caution. All eyes will be on a speech Janet Yellen will deliver tomorrow. The first global code of conduct for currency trading has been published in, a, in an attempt to regain trust in an industry plagued by scandals. The code, put together by central banks and market representatives, calls for more information sharing. It says banks need to be more open to giving central banks information for policy purposes. It also sets out how dealers should deal with rumours that might move prices. The code is only voluntary. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield has fallen again today to 1.84%. The US oil price has tipped over $50 a barrel for the, in the last 24 hours, for the first time since November. The US crude and Brent benchmarks have since eased back to around $49.50 a barrel. The price of gold has jumped to $1,231 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar has weakened slightly since this time yesterday to 67.5 US cents. Data indicating softer capital goods orders in the US has seen the US dollar ease, yet soaring pending home sales and talk of a rates rise has buoyed the US dollar again. The New Zealand dollar hasn't recover against, recovered against the Aussie after Fonterra's opening milk price announcement yesterday. It's at 93.5 Australian cents and 60.3 euro cents. The TWI index has eased back to 71.5. I'm Janae Tibshirani and that was 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.